This year's coverage of the Consumer Electronics Show was brought to you in part by Lenovo and their Legion Y720 Gaming Notebook. The Legion Y720 is powering all of the videos shot this year in Las Vegas. Hey guys, welcome back to WCCF Tech. This is Keith again. We are here getting ready to see the Dell Experience. I don't know yet what they've got going on in here, so we'll see it throughout the course of the video. And maybe we'll get a couple interviews in with some people. Hopefully we'll see what uh, Alienware is bringing to the table this year. Hopefully we'll see some new display technology and... Maybe something surprising. So let's go on in and see what's going on. All right, guys, so we're here at the Dell Gaming Experience. We're specifically looking at their gaming products today. We've got some shots, you've probably seen them just a second ago, of like their consumer line of laptops, as well as a really, really cool uh, projector that they had. But this right here is the Inspiron Gaming Desktop, the 5680. It comes in multiple configurations, whether in video or AMD graphics cards. You can see it's really cool that they've got like an actual tempered glass side panel on here instead of just not even having a side panel you can see in. You can see it now it's not exactly the most dressed up interior, but it's really cool that they actually offer that. And they've got the Dell augmented reality, uh, virtual reality headset here. You may play with that in just a minute, but over here you can see the controllers for that. That's really cool. These are, these are actually Dell specific. You can see the Dell logo here, little trackpad. So this is really cool. We'll give this a shot and see what we think about that. But um, moving on down here, it's got the Alienware panel. Come on in a little closer over here. Take a look at this. This is the Inspiron 15 of 5000 Gaming Series laptop. So we've got two different ones here, but both of them are featuring Core i7, 7th Gen CPUs, as well as NVIDIA graphics cards, which isn't that surprising. A nice HyperX um, headset there, as well as Microsoft Xbox controllers. But these are all both running up some games. It's really cool to see uh, using NVMe drives, but it's really nice to see some more of the mainstream stuff. But let's jump back here and take a look at the actual Alienware lines. part of the Dell Experience booth. So we're going to take a look at the Alienware laptops as well as desktops over here. We're going to start with the laptops. This is the Alienware 17. Uh, ooh, it lights up. That's pretty cool. But this one, this particular one here is, looks like up to 180 watts of power just for the graphics card. So this is definitely not going to be one that you want to tote around with you. This is going to be definitely a desktop replacement, but it's really cool to see. Uh, nice smooth back, real good cooling looking like. So the 15 is a bit more portable. And still VR, uh, we're looking at it's got an optional G-Sync display that's hooked up, which is really cool using killer AC wireless. Now this is me personally, being on a mobile scene, this is kind of more of my speed. This is the Alienware 13. Um, we do, do get touchscreen monitor, which is nice. I like that touchscreen. So optional OLED displays and the GTX 10 series. So still looking like Intel and uh, NVIDIA for all of these solutions. Now if we move over here we can see the new uh, Alienware. This is actually an award winner. If you zoom in right here you can see the Alienware 34 inch curved gaming monitor did win the CES 2018 Innovation Award but you can see two of them stretched out right here. Really really cool stuff with the Alienware 51. Huge monstrosity of a tower. Great cooling, all of that jazz. Not a lot changed since the last time they did it. But we're actually really, really looking at this uh, particular one over here, rocking. This one's got SLI support in it. Um, you can see the side is sort of see-through. It's not quite like the tempered glass on the Dell, but it's still really nice. Uh, so you got the little laptop drive display. But much nicer to me. I prefer this. It's a much smaller chassis, when in all reality, you're probably going to get as much power out of this little one as you will this big old thing but this is an absolutely gorgeous g-sync display 34 inch curved all of the bells and whistles so looks like alienware is really bringing it this year so really excited to see what they do bring to market 
All right, guys, so this is the Dell XPS 15 2-in-1. This is actually featuring the new 8th generation Intel Core i7 processor with the Radeon RX Vega M graphics. So if we can get in a little closer, you can see just how thin this thing is. It's ridiculous. So it's actually running Rise of the Tomb Raider. Um, there's no gamepad hooked up, so I'm going to try and move around just using the wise keys here. But you can see it's actually playing fairly smoothly in just such a light, and it's actually really cool. Let me lean in here so we can see a sound. Can't really hear anything in there, so that's really cool. So let me see if I can jump here. But it's actually really cool to see this game running so well on something this small. And if we can, we can go and jump into the options and display. You can see that it's actually running at 1920 by 1080. Uh, full screen, uh, no DX12, so it's running DX11. Uh, FXAA with VSync on double buffered but it's really cool to see it running so so this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV and this has been our tour of the Dell experience hope you guys enjoyed it